My name is Lindell Wigginton. You are now rocking with Mr. Basketball Live, Inside Access. What's up, y'all? This is Mr. Basketball Live. What's up, y'all? This is Mr. Basketball Live. Freshman here at Iowa State. Um, tell our audience how your year has been, how your season has gone so far. Uh, my season has been going pretty good. Um, obviously, a freshman is going to have his freshman struggles, you know, some ups and downs. But you know, overall, I, I felt like I having a good year. Right. Um, you know, I'm scoring the ball, getting my teammates involved, mm -hmm. um, working on the defensive end. Right. You know, I, every night I try to guard the best players. So. Okay. Um, you know, that's what really gets me going and, and gets my offense going by guarding the best defender. I mean, guarding the best offensive players. So. Right. Trey, what are your thoughts on Lindell Wiggins? Dale's a good player. Um, I'll play against him throughout high school in USA basketball. Oklahoma's coming in tomorrow. Uh, they got one of the best players in college basketball, Trey Young. Um, how do you how do you prepare to play Trey? Um, it's honestly to me, it's just like every other game. Uh, I know he's a great player and all, but you know, like it like every other game going in, I'm gonna try to you know guard the best player and stop him. You really can't stop Trey Young. He, he got too much stuff with him, but right, right. Uh, you can contain him. You can definitely contain him right. and, and try to try to get him off the ball, right. face guard him. Um, should just try to make his teammates do it all. You can, so you can contain him. You can't stop him fully, right. so you can contain him. Right. <laughs> about your mindset like when you came into Iowa State in the summer was the NBA on your mind or no no nah, really I mean I had I heard it all like after I became a five-star recruit um, everybody was talking NBA 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 but uh, coming here I really wasn't focused on the NBA I'm just focused on you know Iowa State coming here getting better right and I'm, I'm fully committed to this program at the moment so I really wasn't focused on the NBA, but um, obviously, obviously, um, it has come up, right. and you know whatever I got to do to you know, put my family and, and me in the best position that I'm gonna do. So right. um, whether it's this year, next year, right. um, four years from now, whatever is the best situation I'm gonna do. Find out with Lindell, he's a very loyal kid. Right. Comes from a great family. Right. Um, obviously, both both parents, mom and dad, are. are, are very influential in his life and um, the more you get to know about him the more you, you you realize like man this kid is there's a lot of stuff a lot of really positives to him and his family and you know just from everybody up in that area I mean they're very very close-knit right so um, 
that's kind of what we look for. Obviously, you know, talent one. I mean, it's got to be talent at this level. They got to have the, the ability to play. Right. But then I think most important from there is the character and the toughness. All right, so what's next? Uh, uh, locker room. Locker room? Yeah, practice locker room. Okay, so inside access. You're not going to see this anywhere else. Let's take a look at Lindell's locker room. This was always my dream. Um, I seen my brother playing at CAA. Right. Um, he actually went to the tournament. So, you know, I just want to... You know, following his footsteps, and I want to be the first from Nova Scotia to make it to the NBA. NBA right. I want to play in the NBA game. Right. You know, I just want to, you know, have to provide for my family. I want, I want to see them live a better life. Right. Me live a better life also. So, you know, I, that's what I put in the work for. Oh, oh, oh Oak Hill. I always, I always represent Oak Hill. Shout out Coach Smith. Coming from Oak Hill, uh, what were your offers like? Talk to us about your office. How many offices did you have? Uh, honestly, it's a lot. I can't name everybody. I know about okay. How many? Give me a give me a ballpark figure. Probably 27, 27, 27, 27 like high major offers. Okay. So name some of the top schools. Um Florida State, uh, USC, Iowa State, Baylor, um, uh, Kansas, uh, Texas, okay, so, Louisville. So why Iowa State? Out of all of those big time schools, why Iowa State? Why here? Um, usually when, when coaches recruit a player, um, the player looks for the big school. They look for the big school all, all in the hype and look how big the school is and, and where players have went from that school. At. I honestly wasn't looking at, at the name. I honestly didn't care like if it was a Kentucky or Kansas. I didn't I don't care about the name. Now I want to go where I know I can de develop and I know I got a great relationship with the coaching staff. And here when I came on my visit, um, you know, it just felt it just felt like home. You know, everybody was genuine, you know, the fans are great. Right. Um, the coaching staff they made me feel like I was at home. Right now. Yeah. All right, oh, okay. How you doing? <laughs> well, see, I'm big bro, and he tried to steal my swag, but as you can see from my feet and his, he ain't quite there yet. <laughs> you know, it's levels to this. That's a, <laughs> it's levels. Who got a better shooter? I have a no. Okay, I don't have. Oh, oh, oh. These these are light. Like these are light. These are light too. Them are, them are light. Right. He ain't got no fire on his feet. Uh uh. We're out of here. So what's this right here? It's like a. I don't really play games. <laughs> uh, this looks pretty old school. What, what is this? Yeah, I'm not even sure. I don't, I don't really play games like that, but um, yeah, it's like hundreds of games on there. You can pick through the games and stuff. Do uh, you have a lot of teammates that do this? Uh, they go hard on it? A couple, not not really a lot, but the coaches' kids, they usually come in here, they, they use the go at it and stuff, yeah. So you come to Iowa State, uh, how, how does that all work? What was the transition like? So you had to come here in the summer before? Yeah, so uh, I came here in June uh -huh. uh, just to just to get my classes started. Okay. Um, just to get an early head start before the, before the season. So wait, so you graduate when? In May? Graduate in May. And then you come right to college in June? Yeah. Wow, so there's no summer. I only had a couple of days home. Not really any summer, so I get here in June, uh -huh. like around June 4th, June, June 3rd. Uh -huh. Get here in June, uh, uh, where we got to work the camps, uh, the, the, the kids' camps okay. for Iowa State. And um, yeah, a after every day we, we work out, um, go through like a, a team workout too. Uh -huh. We got conditioning, right. weights, right. all that. So I kind of had to get adjusted to that. Uh, so coming, coming straight out of high school, it wasn't like that. We didn't lift weights every single day. Right. You, know, you didn't condition every single day. Really, we just come in. We'll have our strength trainer over here. Okay. He'll like give us our schedule, okay. what we're doing for the day. Okay. We'll get that, and he'll give us instructions on what to do. We already know what to do because we've been doing this since the summer. So. Okay. Um, usually, we'll bench press. Okay. Uh, put whatever, whatever your weight is on bench press. Um, so how much, how much do you bench? Uh, depends. During the, in the off season, I'll probably go up to 215. Okay. But then we get 
lighter as the season goes on, so probably go one, 195 at the, at the max for, for in season. So how many times um, a week do you lift in season? Uh, in season, probably two to three in season. Okay. Now that we started the Big 12 play. Okay. Um, but in the regular season, it was probably like three to four, three to four. And then in the summer, every day? Uh, summer, yeah, it was, it was almost every day. Every day? Yeah, yeah, I, that was like an adjustment process. I had to get used to that. Okay. okay, so we want to rewind back, talk a little bit about Iowa State and the journey here. Um, now I want to talk about Hope Hill, right? So you went to one of the best prep schools in the world, um, a kid from Nova Scotia. How did that Oak Hill situation even happen? How do you even get to Oak Hill? Um, so I was playing AU for Coach Bro, Bro Russell, uh, and he knew Coach Coach Smith at Oak Hill. You know, he knew him for a lot of years. He was he was good friends with him. So um, yeah, I play. I'm playing for Bro Russell, and Bro Russell tells Coach Smith about me, and um, that situation happens, and then I actually get the Play with Team Canada and Nike Global Challenge in Chicago, and then. Coach, what, year, what year was this? Uh, 2013-14. So how old were you? I was probably 14, 14 at the time. Okay. So yeah, I played for the play for Team Canada, the Nike Global Challenge in Chicago. Uh, Coach Smith is coaching with one of the USA teams. It was like three or four USA teams. He's coaching with one of the USA teams. Um, so he sees me there, he comes to one of my games, because Coach Roy told him to come and watch me play or whatever. He comes to one of my games. I play good there. Um, after, you know, we exchange numbers and everything. And we just kept in contact ever since after that. And, you know, he, he knew about Oak Hill. And, you know, that's how it happened. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
This is all the people that play for uh, Cyclones. Like, oh, man. Back in the day. All the NBA players? Yeah, all the NBA players that, that played a minute in the NBA. Hey, Jamal Timsey. Yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's a killer. Uh, so, yeah. These are all the NBA guys. Okay. My boy, Naz. Naz. Canadian. My boy, Monte. Yeah. We talk, we talk uh, like, every week. Okay, yeah, cool. They just keep my game and stuff. Just, okay. tell, just tell me uh, what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Right. And just... just Keep me, keep me level-headed. Right. So, you know, my boy, my boy, uh, in the A. Uh, so yeah, that's really we got some legends on it. So who's next? Are you next? Yeah. You the empty spot. Yeah. Mark my words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be next right, right here. Right here. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, we know a little bit about Oak Hill, so let's talk about your beginnings in Nova Scotia. What is Nova Scotia like? Uh, and how did you get into basketball? Yeah, my family, they, they was always into basketball. My dad, uh, brothers, and uh, they, they really showed me the ropes. Uh, my dad showed me what it takes to be a man and, and work hard every day. Right. And my brothers, you know, just playing, playing with them all the time. Uh, playing one-on-one -on -one with them, one-on-one -on -one with my dad, just just playing every day, it just showed me how to be tough, and you know we always had a basketball background, so it was always basketball, basketball, basketball. And I grew up watching them, and it just made me you know fall in love with the game, and just just watching them play. Different players, huh? Got the team on deck. Yeah, you know, a couple of chairs, and everything like that. So, this is where everybody just you know chills out after practice. Um, after workouts and stuff, you know, you can, you can eat in here. Unlimited food. Oh yeah. <laughs> eat in here. We got the Gatorade machine. But this this lounge is accessible all day, all night. Yeah, all Pretty day, much. all night, 24 hours. Right. Come in here late night, right. two in the morning. Right. If you hungry, you can eat. Right. Whatever. So. Right. So how do you, how does the eating work? Like, do y'all have like chefs that can tell you food? On game day, they they bring us food, so they got a, uh, a chef. He just brings us food, uh, our game day meal, and then you know after that, after that we play the game, and then we'll get money after the go, we go eat. Okay, fifteen, fifteen bucks after we go eat. So, okay, that's really that's really our right. And then after after every practice, we get food too. They'll okay, they have a cater here, or uh, we'll get it from a takeout spot. So how do you get talented enough at 14 to be able to get? Um, 
honestly, I give all the credit to my to my mom and my dad. Uh, you know, they they they, they, they showed me the ropes. Um, they made me learn from my brother's mistakes, like all my brother's mistakes, and on the court and off the court. So, you have a brother that played? Yeah, I have a brother that played. He played at the University of Buffalo. Oh, wow. Then I had an older brother. He played um, in the NBL over there. Really? But that was like man. Yeah. Wow. So okay. So you, it's your basketball yeah. made. Yeah. Okay. So you have people ahead of you that kind of did it, and now you're kind of trying to do it the yeah. right way, right? The right way. I'm just learning from all their right. all their mistakes and what they did on the court and what they what their weaknesses was on the court, and I'm just trying to make all that my strength. So. That's, okay. that's kind of how I, I came up and, and became a, a good basketball player. Is your signature on here yet? Uh, uh, shit. Yeah, right here. Uh, Legendary signature. <laughs> I like playing Kobe's or. Nah, that's what I'm going to play tomorrow. So Kobe's out of that. And so you guys are sponsored by Nike, right? Yeah. So do y'all get free shoes? Yeah, we get free shoes. Um, oh, probably a couple every right? So, so we should be getting a new pair uh, before this game, but before the Cavs get that season. We just got these today. These exclusive, these exclusive. Oh, man. We got the Hill of Magic. Hill of Magic right here. He was crazy. It's crazy because I never, I never played any Kyrie's before, so right. I might test him out tomorrow. Well, college life. What's this all about? Flush like a champion. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They just that's just that's in the stalls too. That's in the stalls too. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know who puts it up. It's a reminder of flush. It's a reminder of flush. Coach just puts motiv motivational speeches in here okay. sometimes. Okay. When we play Tennessee, uh, uh, everybody saying they're the toughest team in the country, and I mean they showed it against us. They, they, they were pretty tough. They, they they beat us at home by a good number, and uh, yeah, I respect them. Yeah. So uh, this is where we watch film every day. Okay. You know, we got our Sean seat. This is my seat right here. Oh, so you just can't sit anywhere, huh? No, you just can't sit. You just can't come in here. So what about if you want a back seat? Nah, we gotta, we gotta sit in our, our own seat okay. every every single day. Okay. Uh, we pick these seats in the in the summertime, okay. and there okay. you gotta stick with it the rest of the way. So all right, so Lindell, the first uh, time that I saw you or heard about you um, a couple years ago, uh, I said that you reminded me of D Rose. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you're light skinned just like him. You know what I'm saying? You kind of look alike, to be honest, a little bit. Not, <laughs> from afar, I wouldn't say y'all look alike, but just seeing him and seeing you, um, it looks like you could be a D-Rose for an NBA team, a D-Rose before the knee injury, right, for an NBA team. Um, is he your favorite player? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's my favorite player. That's that's kind of who I try to model my game after. Okay. The old Derrick Rose, but I still like the I still like the new Derrick Rose. That's that's my guy. That's right. that's who I like. That's right. who I that's who I look up to. So, you know, I, I want to play like him. I want to, you know, be the old D Rose and you know try to try to make it to the league like he did and be a explosive guard like him. Okay. So, do you have any uh, uh stories, NBA stories? Have you met him? before oh uh, no i haven't met him but you know i have a story it's kind of crazy because it happened this year um we played kansas uh i had i had a good game at kansas we played them in lawrence you know solo crowd right like 16 000, wow. you know crazy loud we had an opportunity to win it win the game but you know 
uh, coming down to the stretches in the game, we, we, we uh, kind of got out of sync and lost that game. But you know, I had 27 that game. Whoa, man. You know, I played a good game. And then uh, going into the, 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 the lines, handshake lines, uh, I know I know the coaches personally. I know Bill Self. You know, he recruited me, all the assistant coaches. So uh, he kind of just shook hands. And he was like, uh, Coach Bill Self was like, um, I know this is you like this a lot more than Oak Hill because you know, Oak Hill is isolated and Ames is like a beautiful town. But um, yeah, I shook his hand. We was talking for a little bit, just laughing. You know, he's a great guy. I respect him a lot. And, you know, I got down to one of the assistant coaches and he, he said to me, he, was, he shook my hand. He's like, uh, good luck on the rest of your season. And I, I feel you're going to be the next D. Rose. Wow. He, he said that to me. That kind of that kind of hit me. invited to the to the NBA combine so be going to there you can test the waters um, see where you're at like they'll tell you where you're at where you're going first second round however that works uh, and then if you don't get invited to the combine you know you can you can still work out and everything and, and people can come see you right like, you can still test the waters that way right but really it's your it's your coaching staff and, and the people on your on your staff that's gonna let you know Oh, you should you should leave at this time, or you should you should stay back and get better and right. you know work on what you need to work on. So, right. and luckily for me, we got a we got a um, ex NBA scout on our staff right. and Coach Hobbs, who we who we met earlier. But uh, right. yeah, he he's, he's a great mentor to me. Um, he knows what it takes to get to the get to the next level. He's been there. He's been an NBA scout for what seventeen years. Wow. He's been in the basketball game for over 30 years so right. um, he knows what it takes to get to the next level uh, so just talking to him every day right. um, all my good games and even when I have a bad game uh, uh, he just tells me you know stay stay focused you know everything on the far the place is all in God's hands so right. this is my guy coach Hobbs. how you doing man you don't know how he didn't go he didn't go he critiqued my game that's what he did <laughs> look, look he watching film already yeah, I watch him trying to figure out my guy. How you gonna like try to contain Trey Young? Contain him, man. That's what you gotta do, man. Let him work. He's gonna get some. Yeah. You, know, you can't get down when he gets some. He's gonna get some. Right. Sometimes you know, you gotta like that. Mm -hmm. Just gotta make sure you gotta earn it every time. Exactly. So, do NBA scouts come to your games? Like, and how do you know when they're in the building? Um, if it's a big game, you're gonna you're gonna know they're in the building. Uh. uh so who tells you? Who tells you that? Okay, NBA scouts are in the building today. Nobody really tells you. It's it's not. Coaches just don't come up and tell you. Right. You just kind of see them from 
seen them from in the, in the past, or right. they'll come to sh they kind of shoot around or something like that before, right. just to see you before the game. Okay. Um, so that has happened a, a couple times, and um, really, I just I just know them from seeing them. It, it usually at the beginning of the season they was coming to our practices and stuff. Wow. So um, you kind of know them from seeing their faces, so you so, see them in the stands. So what is that like when you, you're at practice or you're shoot around and you see NBA scouts on the sidelines? Um, like really, Major. just butterflies or no? Not really, but I mean, I I don't really get butterflies or get nervous or anything. So uh, I mean, yeah, you just gotta go, go be you. Great win for us, our program. Um, again, I, I can't thank the fans enough. I, you walk out there and you got another 14,500 sellout crowd. We've got an unbelievable fan base, so thank you to all of them uh, for, for showing up today and, and providing a great environment. Bill, yesterday you called this game a measuring stick for you. What, I guess what's your conclusion on how you measure up? Then? Uh, I mean, I always, in my mind, I feel like I'm one of the best guards in the country. Um, obviously, Trey, he's one of the best guards in the country, too. So, I mean, uh, we had a, a good matchup, and looking forward to the next one. Okay, so uh, last question on the NBA here. Where would you want to go in the first round? So, like, let's say, for instance, you've had a great season. You averaged 17 a game this season, uh, which is amazing for, for a freshman in college. Um, you test the waters. You know you got interest. Where would you want to go? Uh-huh. Honestly, I would want to go anywhere in the first round. To be honest, that that's a guarantee. But you uh, obviously you get there, you gotta work. Right. You gotta work for keeping your spot. But honestly, anywhere in the first round, I I just want to be a guy. I want to be the first guy from Nova Scotia to make it to the NBA, and you know that's what I'm striving for. Right. Um, I just want to put my family in the best position possible, right. um, better than the, the position they're in now, and right. put me in the best position. So. Right. First round, I want to go first round.